سيت باب اللوم سينال وات اذر نيمز سين انكفرد اند انكفرد بارت اوف ذا بودي ابيل ستاك اون ابييرنس يعني هاي بنشوفها ستاك اون ابييرنس اتس كلرز براون بلاك ويل ديماركيتد جريزي سكيلي بابيوز بلاك بنت واحد هاف بارتي سيرفيس The cause is unknown. The name is smooth bleeding because it's not limited to the seborrheic distribution seen in any part. And not related to seborrheic dermatitis, nor they are uh, formed from sebaceous gland. So it's misnomer name. The uh, uh, growth of the seborrheic keratosis comes from the squamous cells itself, the uh, keratinocytes. They are, uh, can uh, follow uh, sunburn Because of skin irritation. Sometimes patients presented with a ruptive seborrheic one, seborrheic keratosis, have more than 100. This is science called science of laser trillets. Treatment. Doctor, uh, yes. Doctor, Doctor, السلايد بعد على اول سلايد دكتور اي يا سيدي دكتور هسه واضحة عمار؟ ايه دكتور واضح شو طالع؟ هسه طالع الصورة مال الصورة سيبوريك كريتوسيس اوكي سيبوريك كريتوسيس ات از سيمبلي ريموفد باي ذا كورتاج سو ايزي ريموفال باي شيب باي ذا كورتاج باي ذا ليزر ديستراكشن سو ذيس از اكزامبل ذيس از ذا بيكتشر اوف ذا بيشنت ويز سيبوريك كريتوسيس اوف ذا فور هيد With the uh, uh, fine cortege of the lesion, so it is well. Uh, there is a sli slight bleeding, and it is uh, stopped by the pressure. So it's not need even any uh, culture or sorry, cytological uh, study or other. The picture mark is stuck on appearance brown, uh, greasy nodule or a plaque. This is other picture of. Seborrheic This is patient with sign of laser trillet. Uh, this is a uh, case uh, should uh, take uh, a dangerous. Why? Because it may maybe associated with uh, malignancy, hidden malignancy, especially charity. Skin tags. It's common skin tags. Common benign tumors also seen in pregnancy during pregnancy or Obese patients. يعني usually in pregnancy at obese patients, you can see any patient and people. It is uh, a uh, site of uh, this skin tags, axilla, neck, guinal area, eyelids, soft tumor being vented or skin colored tumor, be them related papules, sometimes it's the side. It means yes, scissoring. All the scissor excisions, it's enough at the start of the. Uh, Tumor. Sometimes patients uh, use uh, hair or um, um, anything and, and ligate the stalk of the tumor and cause necrosis of this uh, soft pedicle, soft uh, tumor, and cause change in the color. Sometimes cause gangrenous changes. This is wrong method. The true or uh, best method it is the scissoring operation. Keloid hypertrophic scar is connective tissue tumor. Usually, it is for trauma. Any type of trauma, and in special or uh, a special or, or, or in, in genetically predisposed people, the laceration, cut, boil, acne, burn, this lead to uh, the growth of tumor. And the tumor appear a pink red growth. Usually, it is rubbery in consistency or firm. Lesion may be tender, painful, itchy. 
there is a uh, hypertrophic scar and curricula this is seen less common than hypertrophic scar the difference lesion confined to this site of trauma in hypertrophic scar while in keloid extent to the site of a trauma like in the air piercing here the piercing is smaller than this lesion but the tumor is larger than site of the burst so it is keloid this is called keloid uh, usually, the hypertrophic scar may regress with the time, while the keloid is not regressed with time. Treatment is difficult. Why? Because any trauma, any removal, any destruction of the lesion uh, will activate a new one. But the hypertrophic is generally subtle, but keloid resist treatment. Dressing, moisturizing oil, silicone reduction patch, pressure, addressing surgical excision sometimes done with the pressure dressing and uh, sometimes followed with the corticosteroid injection at the same uh, time of removal every at the time of removal and every few weeks we inject the lesion with the corticosteroid cryotherapy dye laser i also this come sometimes there is a failure rate is high this is air piercing also this is two piercing this is Site of burn, this is piercing site of the ear. This is laceration and lead to uh, the development of hypertrophic scar. This is the keloid, the growth is more than the site of injury. Even a clean wound can develop uh, hypertrophic scar. The bilar cyst or the dermal cyst. Bilar cyst, epidermal cyst, bilar cyst is seen in the, it is severe cyst, it's normal also. The bilar cyst in, in the hairy area, epidermal cyst in the non hairy area. The epidermal cyst is a uh, movable sac filled with a soft white brown material that sometimes oozes out onto the skin surface. This is, this is an opening. This material which is keratinous debris, dead skin cells and have smell, rotten cheese. Cysts can be inflamed, inflamed. Sometimes the cyst is normal color, skin color. Sometimes there is inflammation of the content cysts and cause pus inside it and cause rupture and need a drainage of this pus and inflammation goes inside of the cyst. This makes the red painful, discharge. So, if there is inflammation, you should treat the inflammation, not remove that sac, and uh, leave the patient for, uh, for a few weeks. And then when the patient settles and you can do surgical excision, you should remove all the uh, cyst wall, because if there is a minute of the cyst wall, the rate of the alternative is going uh, high. Usually removed by the local anesthesia. Sometimes when there is inflammation or bacterial infection of the cyst, this, the wall of the cyst will adhere firmly to the surrounding tissue, so the removal is to, to not in the fine small incision at the surface of the, no, this is removal of the lesion totally with the skin overlying the cyst. This is cyst removed. Uh, and it can appear white in color, contain keratin, or an incision from small. Syringoma. Syringoma harms sweat duct tumor. It is the sweat duct tumor, the most often seen in cluster around the eyelids. Also, it can see elsewhere in the face, armpit, lichas, but chest, vulva. Syringoma is skin. Colored yellow, firm round papules, three millimeter in diameter usually, appear adolescent and are more common in women. Sometimes another affected people, there is family history, sometimes patients associated with the diabetes. Syringoma may be confused with xanthelasma. Xanthelasma it is the deposition of cholesterol on the eyelids. Treatment here laser destruction, but there is a risk of the Scar. Why? Because the syringoma is going deep in the skin and the derms and derms. So there is a risk of scar. So a patient comes with the 
syngoma for cosmetic purposes it's not for the acid disease فاحنا نسوي له واحد اثنين ونشوف الريزلت مالته اذا سوى سكار because the people different differ by the result of the scar people from another the person from other person so uh, do uh, a trial for uh, removal of one or two lesions and see the result melastic uh, nevus also it's a uh, mole it is a no it is a benign tumor uh, it is divided into two melastic nevus either it's acquired one during the life or it is during the best called congenital monastic nervous. Other name is mold. Uh, it's common skin lesion. It is proliferation of the pigmented cells. It's called the melanoma size, brown or black in color. Uh, it's called pigmented nevi. Uh, molds benign, harmless, but malignant phenomena can arise from the mold. Uh, usually, it is a flat or protruding, varying color from sometimes patients present with pink color molds, not the, only the uh, especially in fair skin, not only brown, black. The size is range from millimeter to several centimeters. The number of molds in person has depended on the genetic factors and exposure. So, the genetic factors and frequency and exposure can result in production of more and multiple molds in futures. Usually after 30, it is top development of the mold. According to the level of the uh, nesting or the uh, proliferation of the melanocytes, uh, patient will give the special presentation of this lesion. So junctional it is the, the superficial one, it's upper, the upper dermal uh, nesting. There is a uh, appearance of the pigmented flat uh, mole, while in the, in the, in the, when go deep intradermal, the region will be protruding slightly pigmented or skin colored uh, mole. And between it's called compound, it contains both the dermal and junctional. And appear pigmented protruding tumor. So, patients usually appear in, at the near the end of life, junctional type. When the time it becomes intradermal because it goes deep, and there is the lesion from flat pigmented and change to uh, a non pigmented protruding tumor. This is it is a normal, this is the normal progression of the mold. It is not magnet proliferation. It is very, very rare acquired nearby change to malignant melanoma. Half of malignant melanoma occur in the pre-existing nearby. It is very rare and it could change to malignant melanoma, but the malignant melanoma uh, arise, half of the patients arise from the pre-existing nearby, especially in USA. Signs of malignant melan change, يعني إحنا ده عندنا مال. The signs to you should look for it when there is a scene in the mall. This is give hint of the change to malignant degeneration. It is very rare, but ما هذا جينا رفع. It's liver enlargement in the both the liver border, the size of the lesion, size will be grow more than the other or growth. Of the lesions, it is asymmetrical growth of the tumor. The variegation in color, in a lesion have multiple colors, have blue or red, white, black colors, and the same in the same lesion. Surface changing, and they sometimes patients have uh, sudden at the, uh, ulcer, oozing erosions without trauma, without any uh, or, uh, uh, alone, yeah, yeah, start in the ulcer erosions. Um, symptoms are, yeah, sometimes patients presented with uh, new symptoms, pain, itching, tenderness. Uh, this uh, should uh, follow up and sometimes need to remove and do biopsy for the lesion. Minocytic nevi also have uh, other types called congenital minocytic one. Uh, seen since birth as small, middle, large one. Small, middle, large one. According to size, 
according to the size of the lesion, damage to 20 centimeters in diameters. The large one have risk of malignant degeneration more than the other types of the uh, molds acquired or congenital one. The large one are sick nearby, congenital one sick and large one have risk of change to 10 percent to change to malignant degeneration. Bioderma, biogenic granuloma, biogenic granuloma, it's, it's misnomer also, it's biogenic, it's, you see, means it's, there is bacteria, but it's usually there is no bacteria. Biogenic granuloma, it's an inflammatory reaction, rapid growth of the lesion, contain vessels and uh, connective tissue, rapid growth, appear at the site of trauma also, uh, it is red, friable nodule, bleed easily. This is important feature, this is bloody uh, lesion, where uh, a funny touch, fine touch of the lesion cause severe bleeding, mainly seen in fingers, especially in the housewife because of frequent trauma. Gums affected in the regulatory mouth usually due to hormones is called epulis. Treatment here: cartilage and cutary of the uh, cartilage of the lesion and cutary of the base of the lesion. This is the picture of biogenic trauma, pelotrauma. It is bloody lesion. Axoal Hena Axoal 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 Keratoacanthoma, it is rapidly growing squamous cell tumors, not in bed and the congenital ball uh, resolves spontaneously. Keratoacanthoma look like a crater, a valacon, crater, ishbehel burkan. It may appear as a simple pimple or boil. Rapid growing, there is rapidly growing tumors that reach to two centimeters in diameter within two months of the Appearance pink color have a crater containing keratin. This is the keratin content. Keratoconthoma, uh, any treated keratoconthoma will grow for several months, reach maximal size and self destruction, but usually leave scar. This looks like exactly like a skin cancer, true skin cancer. It's called sequema cell carcinoma in situ. Okay, it's quite a circular So, I told removal of the lesion, cortage, or freezing, excision, uh, it's a symbol. But I can, it should, it's better to take an histopathological study from an incisional one part of the lesion and look for the keratoconthoma because it is similarity to the other tumors. This is keratin filled lesion, multiple one. Uh, solar keratosis or called actinic keratosis. Solar or actinic is the same, it's the sun. A single or multiple desecrated dry wraps um, um, patches or uh, macules, a dry, rough, so it is either it is, there is scaly lesion or rough lesion and sun exposed skin and an adult. Usually it's fair skin, usually male, and have sun exposure for longer duration of period in life, in the previous in life. And skin types usually uh, one, two, three. The most common skin type, and usually the work is outdoor work, shorty, fellah. The lesion is uh, skin colored, yellow or brown, or only brown, red, the size mostly you know, one centimeter over round, uh, sometimes single or scattered lesions, site usually in an exposed area. You have the face, the ear, the hand, the shin, the neck. Uh, be risk of sequimous uh, cell carcinoma development uh, uh, per year, uh, Every uh, 1,000 soil keratosis develop a sequence carcinoma. This is the picture of sequence. This is a rough, scaly lesion involving the 
the hands or the ear, sometimes the face. Corrupt, tomatoes, the fair skin, fair skin people. This goes several uh, or actin characters. It's better to be treated. Why? Because there is of change to medicines. Sometimes patients come for the cosmetic barbers to remove. We don't say that it's better. Treatment uh, sometimes cryotherapy use uh, topical five if you use uh, fair enough, but there is risk of irritation of the uh, site, a mucomod. Voltaren have uh, topical voltaren picrofenac have many studies approved for the treatment for patch battery excision and should use sunscreen. Very important to avoid sun further sun damage. Oral leukoplakia, oral leukoplakia sharply defined white macular slightly raised area by black yani that cannot be rubbed off yani farakh an candida cannot be rubbed off mainly affecting the tongue sometimes there is candida infection secondary or plaque should be classified as a pre-malignant lesion why because it can yani, change to supermassive carcinoma in the future uh, Alcohol smoking is the most important uh, factors that can produce the uh, uh, There is a role of the human papilloma virus type 1116. Irritation from denture or sharply uh, tooth also uh, may develop the Age for 40 to 70 years, female, one to one male. Sometimes, look up like a, uh, inside the lesion, there is what's called autoplasia, red lesion inside or ulcer within the plaque. This gives indication of dysplasia. Biopsy is very important and indicated. About 10% of look up like a kind of progress It's a high percent. Surgical incision, try it. Of course, I'm specialist for removal. Should be differentiated from black lip planus, sometimes or experience to tomatosis, or hair leukoplakia, condyloma cuminata, uh, callus leukoderma, nicotine stomatitis. This is, can be differentiated by clinical or histopathological study. Let's call what's called, uh, nah, 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 uh, so I think the last one is bounce disease, or it's called intradermal epidermal carcinoma. Slowly, ground sharply demarcated, pink scale, plaque can change to supermassive carcinoma. About 3% will regress into invasive supermassive carcinoma. It is similar to the uh, psoriasis, the squid eczema, superficial basal uh, cell carcinoma. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, uh, bounces on both the glands of the penis. It's called the pleasure of acquired. Uh, the excision and the cryotherapy can give uh, good results. Malignant tumors. The most common malignant tumor is called the basal cell carcinoma. It's called PCC or rodent ulcer. Uh, Arises from the basal layer of the epidermis. So that the current epidermis, multiple layer. The uh, germinative part is called the basal layer. So the malignancy of the basal cell layer called basal cell carcinoma is very rarely caused death, uh, affect adult fair skin people. Also, sun exposure has a role. But the genesis, uh, there is defect in the P53 tumor suppressor gene mutation, usually in deaf people, and uh, there is a growth of the tumor. Clinically, there is many types, but the most common one is nodular basal cell carcinoma, and pigmented and superficial. One superficial from above the trunk, just to many centimeters, and the uh, nodular types is shiny, and there is blood vessels, pink in color, and the blood vessels cross the lesions. And the pigmented basal cell or assertive type of there is a uh, rodent and border, Rodent lesions are the border of the ulcer. Treatment here, cortage, excision, cryotherapy, and sometimes we, from the clinical presentation, 
We advise that this is in beta circulation normal, it's best to be removed with a safety margin. Sometimes it is, يعني, there is a, to prove the diagnosis and do incisional biopsy, take small part of the region sent for histopathologic surgery. In this picture near the eye, we see the lesion rolled, rolling L sub region, and there is the rolled border of the rolling of the edge of the lesion, and the rolling border. And uh, this is an important feature, important picture for the basal cell carcinoma. This is also rolling of the border and the erosions, long duration, one, two years, three years. لفايش شامة بتاعتي هو عمره بال 60 70 هذا اللي احنا خلي بالنا ااا بيزو سب كارسينوما سكوما سب كارسينوما ااا اتس سكند موست كومن تيومرز اوف ذا تايب اوف ذا سكين كارسل درايفد فروم ذا سكوما سيلز اللي بتاعتي سايت اذر ذان بيزا سيل ااا ذي ذيس ااا سيلز برودوس كيراتين سو ذا هورن بروتينز ميك اب يعني هنا هاي الكراتين هو اللي يسوي لي هاي الكراتين فذاك دائما نلاقي في بي هورن بي كراتين فولد تيومرز البيزنس الكراتين ما بيها انفيجن السكوام تصير لا يصير بيها انفيجن كان بيت تو ذا ديب ستراكشر اند جو اواي فروم ذا سكين كان كوز بيتاستيسيس جو كان كوز ديث اوف ذا بيشنت كلينيكلي Uh, usually, uh, slowly growing, tender, scaly, crusted nodule, lesion develop sores. Sometimes patients get ulcer, uh, and this ulcer is not a response to a treatment, not a response to treatment, and also it's uh, adult people, not in child. Uh, times. Uh, من سرعة invasion of deep of the lesion and we will feel there is infiltration of the nearby tissue يعني سر مثل thermos in prostensi المنطقة كلها يصير بها thermos and hardening تمام most usually lesions seen in sun exposed site particularly face lips ears Metastasis can go to the head, neck, uh, and large. Uh, uh, also, the lymph nodes can be involved usually by so by the with the lymph vessels or lymph uh, with the lymphic glands, and there is infiltration and there is enlargement. Uh, so we should look for the uh, metastasis when we diagnose patient with sequelae cell carcinoma, unlike basal cell carcinoma. Usually, the basal uh, cell carcinoma is seen above the, the lip, upper lip, and above, and the squamous cell carcinoma in the lower lip and uh, below. The uh, uh, cause for squamous is unknown, but usually the ultraviolet radiation damage DNA of the fair skin people, uh, like uh, solar keratosis, bound disease, and this develop. For the basal squamous cell carcinoma, the risk, yeah, patients have predisposing for tumors like zero development or the smoking, thermal burn, long standing uh, ulcer, and so on. This is a picture of the, the this is the last in the below one picture high less well. Patient will have zero dermabigmentose and develop a squamous cell carcinoma. Ulcer of the lip, long-standing ulcer with infiltration. That is uh, uh, should put in mind the squamous cell carcinoma with infiltration. And in that border, how they when the may be infiltrated by tumor cells. Kaposi sarcoma is an indolent angioproliferative spindle cell tumors derived from endothelial and immune cells. Infect the human herpes or the infected with the human herpes. The herpes aids have a role for the cabo sarcoma because it's found inside the endothelial cells and the immune cells in the lesion of the cabo sarcoma. So it's a tumor of the vessels. 
It's classified into uh, skin vessels, sir, and any part of the vessels. Uh, classification to four groups, either in their epidemic, it's age-related, atherogenic, immunosuppressant, classical, it's the most easy diagnosed and the common one, and endemic. Uh, lesion coverage sarcoma involved the skin or mucous membrane, lymph nodes, and visceral organs. We think about the cutaneous one. Usually, the lesion is concentrated in the lower extremities and go up. Uh, associated with edema and uh, then above the head, neck, or the mucous membrane. Lesions characterize pruritic macule or papule nodule plaque and the uh, several centimeter or millimeters or several centimeter in diameter, the color either brown, pink, usually violaceous in color, violaceous, yone benefsegi. Lesion may be discrete, confluent, typically appear in a linear symmetrical distributions. One above the mucous membrane, usually the palate, the gingiva, and conjunctiva. This is the picture of the uh, violaceous in color, multiple plaque or nodule, this is nodule, this is multiple plaque, and indurated violaceous in color on both the low extremities, upper hand, the tongue, and elderly people. This is multiple violaceous papules. Also, this is diagnosed as concurrent changes, but it's, there is edema, and there is a long standing, it is picture. Diagnosis, uh, biopsy is very important. Uh, to operational oncology, you should, you should exclude the involvement of the visceral organs and sit for, for other uh, for consultation of the oncologist. Local therapy can be used, palliation for local advanced symptomatic disease. And here, the علاج مهم مهم in oncologist, well, I sometimes we need local therapy if there is one or two lesion only involved the skin. Radiation cryotherapy, laser surgical, polyperitinoids. Malignant melanoma have many types of malignant melanoma. The most common rack is acral lentigous melanoma. It is a rare tumor, malignant tumor, and it is fatal malignant tumor. The, uh, the, the important one who are acral lentigous melanoma, as a site, usually in the foot, subangual or plantar surface, it's a brown or black nodule, sometimes ESA. Metastasis rapidly to the local lymph nodes. Sometimes this is a patient with the uh, congenital melanocytic tenuvi presented with the new growth uh, and it appears as malignant melanoma. Mycosis fungoides is the most common type of cutaneous T cell lymphoma. It is the non Hodgkin's lymphoma of the T cell's origin. Primary present in the skin, usually sat at the skin, and sometimes go to the blood. But at the time, I show them only the skin. Microsoft is characterized by malignant proliferation of CD4 T cells with epidermotropism in the skin and generally has prolonged clinical course. Uh, appear, clinically appear well demarcated at the metas patch or black with the variable size shape in color. This is the picture. Uh, have reduction for non-sun exposed area, buttock, flank, inner thigh, and inner arm. It is difficult to differentiate from the benign condition like atopic dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis. Typical steroid failed to get rid completely of the lesion. And thank you. Absolutely. شكرا جزيلا دكتور هلا بالشباب بالتوفيق الله معك دكتور شكرا دكتور الله يعطيك